guys, uh, welcome to this week's Play Nation Games video. Uh, a little bit different from usual. Um, I don't really know much about board games, tabletop games, card deck building games. Um, but Dan, a little bit of an expert on them, or certainly knows more than I do. I think that's fair to say. I think that's fair to say. I think that's fair to say for lots of things. So uh, let's get straight into board games, yeah. which aren't board games at all, actually. Well, these, these are board games. Well, no, they're traditional games. Um, Munchkin, for example, is more like a card game. It's like a very, very cut down D and D, but like a fun D and D. Uh, you so know, are you saying D and D is not fun, Dan? I'm saying that if you play with certain people, D and D can definitely be not fun. Uh, you know who you are. But um, for the most part, Munchkin is basically, um, like it says in the box, kick in the door, kill the monsters, get the treasure, backstab your friends. Uh, it's a great laugh. And um, you get it in like a bunch of flavours as well. You've got standard Munchkin, which is just your typical fantasy based uh, action. You've got Axe Cop. Is Axe that some Cop. sort of anime or something? It's actually based on a webcomic. Um, I don't remember his name. Uh, Ethan Nicole. Um, really fun, like really, really random. If you've never read it, give it a try. Great comic. No, and also try now, it. From my, my point of view, as a, as a, as a sort of new player, obviously yeah. I, I want to get into Munchkin. I've, I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube about them, and it's great fun. Will Wheaton is a big uh, Will big Wheaton. Fan. If you watch the Will Veet Wheaton video about Munchkin, you, you watch that and you go, right, I'm, I'm going to buy this game. YouTube it is it. awesome. Great fun. Um, now, if I'm a sort of new player, now obviously you've got basic Munchkin, let's call it basic Munchkin, um, and then you've got the Axe Cop. Um, is, is that just the, the same game with just like slightly different cards? Yeah, so basically cards, it's, yeah, um, it's the same game, um, you, you've got like a different like theme if you will. Different theme, Axe okay. is kind of random, uh, you've also got things like Super Munchkin, which is all superheroes uh, rather than a fancy um, setting. Yeah. And then of course you've got Munchkin Zombies, which is post-apocalyptic zombie type thing. Um, you can actually buy the games and mix and match if you want to have superheroes and zombies, you can. Uh, you know, fantasy world with... Uh, Axe Cop, you can. Uh, there's another one as well. Well, actually, there's actually quite a few of them. We will be getting more in. Yeah. There are loads of Munchkin sets. Um, these are the ones I think we went through a bunch of these are our favourites so far. But we will be getting loads in. And the thing is, you can make them match. Dan, also, am I right in saying if, if you purchase one of these in store, you can, sort of, if you come in with your friends, Take it upstairs, and you're, you know, we've got the tables here, the space. Yeah, yeah. You're more you've, than welcome to. You guys have all seen our, it. you've all seen our, um, our gaming lounge. If you haven't, check the videos back for those. Uh, or look at our Facebook page for all the photos. You come down here, you grab a box, you can just go straight upstairs, play your heart's content out. It's, uh, it's great fun, it's a great big space as well. There's always, even if you haven't got like anybody with you, there's usually somebody around who'll be happy to play a game with you or show you how it works or whatever. So, well worth looking into there. Well, this is one I actually ordered. Um, not knowing anything about it. He only ordered it because he really fancies Cammy. So, uh, oh yeah, I, I do fancy Cammy, especially yeah. in the Kylie Minogue phase. Um, but it's Street Fighter, and it's a deck building game. So um, I don't think either of us have ever played this. I haven't. Um, I haven't. I've played a very similar game called Ascension. Um, so no, yeah, Ascension. Wait, I'll make sure I don't know. If you are talk while Dan just looks on his phone. We're not going to keep it in, Malcolm. You're going to edit it out. No, no, let's keep the scene. Let's uh, keep the scene. No, because it makes it look like I don't want to talk about, which is obviously not true, because I know everything I'm going to talk about there. So, yeah. Can it see it? Uh, Ascension is the name of the game. So you knew that straight away. How I, in your knowledge. How I your didn't knowledge, know it. Dan? I was testing my... I was testing Google. Google. Make sure Google's correct. Yeah, well done, Google. Good job, Google. So, anyway. A bit like Ascension, if you ever played Ascension. Basically, you're given a board, and on the board you have... Um, you know, uh, things to overcome, like uh, kicking in a car or beating Sagat or so on, and you'll be drawing from the from the main game deck, and you'll be drawing like your moves, you'll be drawing um, uh, other fights as well, and you'll be able to like build yourself a fighting roster and move to overcome Street Fighter based uh, battles. If you've played um, like uh, any kind of board game before, but you know maybe you don't like fantasy, maybe you don't like sci-fi, but you do like kicking each other in the face uh, in the streets. So, am I, am I right in saying, if you're not a fan of Street Fighter, this will still be a good game for you? Oh yeah, totally. Like, even if you're not a fan of Street Fighter, if you're not like a, a fighting guy, it's still a great game to play on its own. Plus, the good thing is, that you can actually match it up, match it up rather, with any other game from uh, uh, Cryptozoic who make this game. So, like Munchkin, you can have Street Fighter and uh, a zombie game, or Street Fighter and some sci-fi stuff. If you just feel like getting a bit mad with it. So that's always good fun as well. How many players is it? Uh, I believe it's one to four. 
Um, that's not one for because you got to play for versus uh, like two, two to five. Yeah, two to five. Um, there we go, two to five. And you get some lovely art in there as well. It's all the Udon artwork for those who know. You got some of the official stuff too there as well. But I really like the Udon style. I think it comes off nicely. Uh, I mean, look, you can't I get like a bowl of there. Udon soup. That's good. Still it's good soup. Yeah. Rather anyway. Than anyway, net runner. Now I know a little. If I started, Dan, I know a little bit about. Okay, this man. One. Hey, shoot, shoot. Um, it's a card game. Oh, Dan, it's over to you. <laughs> what? Seriously? That's that's. All right. It's made by the person that originally designed uh, Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're a fan of the Magic the Gathering uh, universe, but I think sometimes the Magic the Gathering. Oh God, it's always about Greek gods. It's always about. Um, you know, castles, fantasy. It's just, but this it's is your, more it's your science, science fiction. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Well, cyberpunk. science fiction, cyberpunk, yeah. same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I can't see anyone with the big round glasses on, on, on here. I'll say it's more future. It, it reminds me of. Do you know what that film? Harrison Ford, Blade Runner. If you like it's Blade the, Runner, the quintessential cyberpunk movie. Is it? Yes. No, it's not. Is it? Anyway, no, you're just saying that, are you, Dan. Are you kidding? Do you want to test Google again? All right, let's pause the video. We're going to test Google. All right. Okay, Google. What is cyberpunk? <laughs> it's just a... a genre of science fiction set in a lawless subculture of an oppressive society dominated by computer technology. So, uh, what were you saying, mate? Oh, okay. I, th I think we now establish that Dan knows more about cyberpunk. cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, my knowledge of cyberpunk is pretty poor. Right. So anyway, netrunner. Just a question for you, Dan. Who won the Premier League today? Uh, football guys. Football. The football, football team. Guys. Football. <laughs> football won. Congratulations. Football won. Football won. Guy, right, congratulations, football. You win. You football. won. What a result. Nobody cares about football. Yeah, football. Football, rubbish. Alright, anyway, Netrunner. We actually looked at it before. Um, it's a two player game, um, again, built by. Uh, is it just two players? It's just two player, yeah. Oh, okay. um, it's, it's, it's a very quick game that you can bang it out and be done with it in like about an hour. But you can have a great, you, can have, you know, the game can last between like half an hour to like three hours, depending on how good you are. Um, there's also all kinds of um, expansions and add ons and things we've got for this. So, um, one of you will play like the, uh, the, the, the big back operation, the other one will play at Hackers. And you can switch around and get them kinds of there. It's great fun, and like I said, it's made by the designer of um, Magic the Gathering, so you know that you're in for some real deep action. Also, the artwork is, uh, again, pretty lush. I think what we want you guys to tell us is, uh, what board games do you want us to stock? Yes, if you do like board games, um, board games, traditional games, card games, what would you like to see us actually stocking? I mean, we are here for you. We are here to serve you. Uh, you know, beverages and pie. And games. So, okay. if you do want us to serve you any of these uh, lovely treats, along with um, cherry pies, let us know. And we can any sort of board games. Yep. Just to let you know, if if you want to sort of pre-order them from us, you're more than welcome, yep. and we can get them in if we are maybe not convinced that it's the sort of bestseller. Yes, yeah, so if you want to buy a game like I don't know um, a really obscure game, some terrible game, some awful game like um, Ferroticon, for example, we're not going to order it for you. Ferroticon is really yeah, good. It's I love it. Well, if you're like Stu and you like Ferroticon, then you can you can order it from us and we will get it in for you. We won't be stopping it. I used to play that when I was a student all the time. Ferroticon. You might want to look that up before you say that online. Moving on. So, um, thank you very much. And, yeah. And yeah. Please like, share, subscribe. Subscribe it. And come into shop and get some of the games. Get them. And um, we'll also, we... How else best to describe it? We do events upstairs yep. where you can basically bring your board game and then pay £2.50 and you can play it if you want to know more just go to our Facebook page it's all on there yeah. uh, between the gaming uh, the gaming events we do we also do gaming nights as well um, it's a great time it's good good fun for everybody uh, we will be putting videos up in the future of stuff that we do up there as well yeah. but yeah by all means or you can even call us if you want to on 0208 760 0749 and we will answer your questions in silly voices thanks for watching guys thank you